hey, let's give you a September garden tour so you can see what's blooming and where we're at in September. The Bluebeards and the Park Strip are doing great. They're constantly covered in bees coming over. The new daylily is doing spectacular. I need a deadhead, the one, even though it has seed pods. I also have a boatload of bindweed I gotta try to contend with, but it's not easy. Coming through. The hydrangeas are still putting on a massive show, even though it's been so hot. And I'm really loving the Pugster butterfly bushes. The annuals are checking out for the season. Trying to get some seeds off of the Cleom. We'll see. And then the Future Monarch Way Station is doing really well. Have some blooms on the butterfly weed there. Just gonna come back around. And with a way station, you gotta make sure you have water. Now this other Cleome is doing just spectacular, so haven't tried to bag anything yet because the pollinators are still all over it. And coming over, the Hysop and the Guara are really doing well. I gotta do some weeding. I think that's gonna be on today's to-do list. And coming around. New Iris is here doing great. The Hydrangeas are doing great. The Rose of Sharon are always beautiful. Just walk on through. I really got a weed today. That's probably gonna be on today's to-do list even though we're under a heat advisory. Coming over to the new park strip. The antelope horn milkweed is doing great. The chocolate flowers are happy, the ones that took. Gotta try to get some more chocolate flour over here and hopefully the milkweed will take off there. Hopefully I get some blooms on the lilacs next year. New irises. And there's the other side of the park strip. More iris that are new. Now these are all new on this side of the upper garden area. Even the apple tree is new this year. So. This is the longest that the bleeding hearts ever hung on. I'm probably gonna chop it down though this weekend. The annuals are all starting to check out except for the sunflowers. Those things are just constantly going. And then this is the only zinnia that I liked this year that I grew. The other one either didn't come up or the colors just weren't what I was expecting. Time for the trees to get a haircut. Here's where I divided irises this year looking rough right now, but it'll look fantastic later. Hope the Illuminati Tower mock orange starts blooming next year. It's got very cool structure. More irises to divide next year. The boysenberry's getting nice and big. Coming in here, oh, where are they? They're hard to see. Go way over here. We had some peaches survive the frost. It's amazing. <laughs> They're getting close. Not quite there yet. Still pretty green. I have to harvest blackberries today, coming into the vegetable garden. The only fall vegetable I grew this year are the bush beans, and they're doing spectacular have beans coming up on them already. 
finally have some of the bigger tomatoes getting ready. I gotta pick cherry tomatoes. I'm coming around. The zucchini is about done. It's got a bad case of powdery mildew. The watermelon, every, almost everything in this bed's done. And the sunchokes are taken off to bloom. And my six foot fence is dwarfed by them. So that'll be interesting to see from the other side. I hope you like this tour of the garden in September. Hopefully your garden did well and survived all the excessive heat that we've been having. I hope you have a great day.